Recording in progress. Jeremiah, two touchdown night. I mean, just what words to describe your performance? Uh, so okay. take the, mic. the microphones yeah. need to both be in front of whoever's talking, with please. Uh, can you repeat the question? <laughs> yeah, two, two touchdown night. I mean, just what words will best describe your performance, Jeremiah? Uh, really, I, I just felt like it was a team effort. Uh, we all had to do our job. We all had to hold up to, for us to throw the ball and throw the ball. I just had to do my job to win a one on one and Nando trust me. So that was pretty much it. It was a team effort. So we all did our one to And how calm was Fernando, especially during the sequence yeah. where he, he had the two interceptions, yeah. but then he came back and kept going to you? Uh, Nando already, like, Nando is. Just threw it away. Like he, he already he came back to the sideline and said we gonna get one. Like he already he already knew he was gonna do our job. He was gonna score. Like you just felt it. Uh, Nando felt it, so we just beat off Nando energy. So we just we just we grew up behind him. Okay, we have Steve. Uh, both for Jeremiah and Fernando. I know you guys are a lot younger than most of us or than, I, <laughs> than I am. But do you have a sense of the history of tonight's game, that this is the final Pac-12 regular season game, at least as we know it, and you guys will be a part of the winning team in the final Pac-12 regular season game? Yeah, like you said, the Pac-12 after dark series and the Pac-12 in general has a ton of history. And it means a ton for the team, our program, our administration. Basically, just everyone that we we're able to get that win, and not just win, but burn the city and really put it down on UCLA. So I know that UC rivalry means a lot for a lot of people. So I'm happy that players on our team and offense like Jeremiah Hunter, who was just able to bully their way into scoring two touchdowns and probably over 100 yards wherever he had. Okay, do make sure you guys pull both mics to you, sir. Man, Zoom can also hear you. Okay, go ahead. Here in the back row, go ahead, sir. Did you have your hand raised? Right. Jim, go ahead, Jim. Um, so, Fernando, this has been sort of a storybook season for you. You go from third string to getting a, a start and then building on that and winning some games and ending the season with three wins and leading the team to a real impressive season ender. Are, have you taken the time to reflect a little bit on what's been happening so far, or is it just taking you by storm? Thank you, Mr. Margo. Great question. Uh, I will say I have not yet taken the time to reflect on it. Coach Wilcox and I, we already discussed when the offseason comes, we're going to make a plan and devise a plan. So I develop a ton because I still have a ton. Of, I still have a lot of room to grow. I mean, we saw it today, but I'm just happy that being a young quarterback, and a lot of people say that quarterback wins aren't a quarterback stat, but I believe they are as a quarterback provides much more than just on field decision making and throwing the ball on the field. So I believe and I'm really happy that my teammates were able to rally with me and we were able to finish out the season with three wins. Not a lot of people believed in us, especially when we said in the interviews that we were gonna, you know, burn the boats, then burn the forest, and then now burn the city. It was more of a lot of people probably thought that hey he's just saying that for you know good good media presence and having a positive mindset, but everyone in that locker room really believed it and we knew that was gonna happen. And I'm proud that our program and our team and my, and my teammates we were able to show what we're about and now go bowling. So I know it means a ton for Coach Wilcox and the whole staff, so I couldn't be prouder. You're obviously a big part of the win, but how proud are you of guys like Jeremiah and the other, other players on the team that, that just performed so, so well tonight on the big stage? Like a lot of people say, when the stage gets big and when the, the lights shine bright, the stars shine, shine brighter. And now you saw that with Jeremiah, a future NFL player right here. So it's an honor being a, a redshirt freshman quarterback, having a veteran to throw the ball to, like Jeremiah with his sure hands, and is, is, makes the 50-50 balls 90-10 percentage-wise. So it's a pleasure to have all my teammates, especially like even after the two-pick stretch, teammates and leaders like Jeremiah, Monroe Young, and just everybody was like, Fernando, we know that you know what to do. and. Vice versa, and I was like, all right, I got you guys. We're going to go score here. So it's that belief we have in each other, no matter the, all the outside noise or what the current circumstance might be, we know that we have the presence and belief that we're going to win the game. And we always knew that from the jump. Good one, Manuel. Fernando, uh, slow offensive starts, obviously tough as a quarterback. Talk to me through your mindset to kind of stay in this game, the your team of victory. First of all, great to see you. I might need to cough it after for the ball game. But I will say it was a slow offensive start. We, we never want to go, we never want, we, we always want to give the first punch. And although we, unfortunately, we got stopped, I believe, in the high red zone two times, I believe that we were able to sustain two good drives to show the UCLA defense that what we were about, especially at the first drive, 
that Jeremiah caught an amazing, uh, he, he had an amazing route and caught and caught my ball that was on our, our stutter go play for probably around 50, 60 yards. So even though those first two drives only got field goals, we were able to show that, hey, although this is the number one defense in the Pac-12 as in the moment, probably not after this game, but we were able to sustain drives against a really talented defensive line and a really talented defense overall. So it meant a lot for our offense. And although we have a slow start, we always know as an offense, we're, especially our offense, we don't really ride the wave. Or the, but obviously football is a very momentum issue game, but we don't ride the wave. We know we believe in our players and we believe in our teammates that we're going to get and sustain drives and score points at the end of the, uh, at the, end of the day. Like you just mentioned with momentum, like how did momentum play into the game? This could be for both of you, like, you know, getting the ball back right away and scoring a touchdown, capitalizing um, on a catch from from Jay Hunt. Like how how did that play into this game and you know, give you guys the lead that, that you had by the end? Uh, I just felt like us making those plays just gave us confidence that we do we can do the ball. So uh, we making plays like that. That's that's why. We weren't worried about the picks and things like that because we know what type of defense we have. We know they, they're going to do their job. We just got to do our part. That's pretty much how it is on the season. The defense going to do their part. We got to do our part. So us hitting those plays, it just, just gives us confidence to know that we can win the ball and score. Okay, time for just a couple more. We'll go to Lorenzo. So, Jeremiah, I mean, Fresno guys historically, they've had yeah. a lot of success in the Rose Bowl. I mean, Z, yeah. Z back in 2019 and yeah. any other. So, how great does it feel to know that you're the latest Fresno guy along with Ricky to win at the Rose Bowl? Uh, I'm just. We're, me and Rick both just trying to make a name for Fresno. Like it's a lot of Fresno dudes just doing good in general and call these a football realm right now. So he's just trying to keep that momentum going, just trying to light on Fresno. So. We'll take two more in the room. I have a couple people on Zoom as well. Go ahead, Steve. Hey, you guys mentioned momentum, but and every any touchdown you get gives you momentum. Yes, but I think some are more electric, some are more gratifying than others. You fall down seven to six, and 14 seconds later, you're ahead again. How much? Momentum change with Jay not going 100 yards. I mean that's just a test of test me to what Jay can do. Every time Jay out tests the ball, you think he's scoring. So uh, he's just a great football player. Just blessed that he's on our team and nobody else. So yeah. <laughs> okay, we'll wrap it up in the room with Brian and then a couple on Zoom. Yeah, too. Fernando, I asked you earlier this week how you feel you've developed through your time starting. Um, but how do you feel through the season, especially in the last month or so with this turnaround? How do you feel the team has developed? How has it grown, come together? I believe the team has gained more confidence. The team always had a belief that we we're going to win each and every of those last three games. However, it, it gets amplified in pressure moments, especially uh, like it was mentioned. We were down seven six, but we always had the adver uh, we we always knew that we we're going to be able to face the adversity efficiently and then bounce back as a team. And I would say the team has developed in a sense of. It hasn't always been, and it was never this way, but the offense and defense kind of came together. And the, we, like Jeremiah said, we know the defense has our back, so we need to get the defense back. So those are two really high groups, and especially the special teams who did an amazing job today. So all those three position, all those three units all have each other's back, and it's not a, a point fest where, hey, like the, our, the defense did the job, the offense didn't, or vice versa. We all know that we play for each other, and we're all going to have each other's back, and we're all going to put our best foot forward. So. When that all happens, when all those three units combine, that makes a football team great. And I feel like that's what our team has been the last three games. Great. Okay, we'll have a couple on Zoom to wrap it up. Uh, Thomas, do you have a question? Yes, uh, Fernando, you were very consistent in your messaging, especially around the USC and Oregon game, about how this team deserved to be bowl eligible, that you guys were going to get bowl eligible. How gratifying was it to be in the fight with them and eventually come out the other side as a bowl eligible team? It means the world. I mean, I, I've, I've never been bowling, and I don't know what a bowl game feels like, but from all the stories that I've heard from seniors and just everybody else, having the opportunity to play more football, especially last year. Last year was pretty heartbreaking when football practice stopped and you saw other teams still practicing and playing in bowl games. However, I know it means the world for our, for our teammates, our seniors, especially now uh, we have Isaiah Fonze, who Unfortunately, it probably wasn't going to be available for the last three games, but I know there's a possibility he's going to be able to come back for the bowl game. So I know it means a ton for him as this is his last year of eligibility, and that's a leader on the team. So to be able to do it for those guys, our program, and just everybody else, I mean, it, it just means a world. And at the end of the day, the bowl game was our goal, so we went bowling, and we accomplished our goal, so it feels great. Jeff, go ahead, Jeff. We'll go ahead with Jeff. Go ahead, Jeff. 
Hey, Fernando, congratulations. You know, the offense has really improved throughout the season, but the defense had a lot of trouble most of the year. Can you just talk about how impressive they were tonight and, and how happy you are for those guys to be able to make that kind of a contribution to such a big win? I'm ecstatic for those guys. But at the, at the end of the day, they aren't those guys. They're one of us. We're, we play as a team, and as Jeremiah said, those are our best friends. Those are our brothers, so we fight for each other. Every down, every time adversity strikes, and every time something positive happens, whether it's a touchdown or a fourth down stop, we, we, we always have each other's back, and we play as a team, and it just it just shows the, the professionalism and just how everybody does so great on the defense and executing their job. I mean, I can't even start to list out all the defensive leaders, but I just know I just know Coach Sermon and Coach Wilcox do a great job with that unit and I mean they really stepped up tonight and held UCLA at seven points, which is very impressive. Okay, final final question with Maria Coladova from Rivals. Go ahead, Maria. Hi Fernando, in your words, Washington State was burned the boat, Stanford was burned the forest, and then UCLA was burned the city. What are you burning next? <laughs> To be quite honest, we, we need to come up with that terminology we haven't yet because we don't know what bowl game we're going to play in or, you know, I don't want to get too ahead of myself. We, we Our team, we, we relayed the message, we want to be present in the current moment and this is our chance to shine, but I'm sure we'll, we, we, we'll, we'll come up with something soon, so I'll keep you updated on that. All right, thanks. Thank you, everybody.